Hi, the example three for geometric progression. So think about a little more complicated cash flow. So this is actually the perpetuity. And it starts at time zero. One, two, three. Um, up to 10, then 11, 12, 13, and so on. And the cash flow is $2 at time one and the $4 at time, sorry, the $1 at time one and the $2 at time two and the two square dollar at time three and so on. And finally, that we get the two to the ninth power, but after that, the, it will be level. So two to the ninth power. So two to the ninth power is 512. So every year that you will get the uh, $512. And assume that I is equal to 20%, 25%. So we wanna calculate the present value. And since this is a kind of um, combination of the geometric progression and the usual, the perpetuity. So we think about the two different the cash flows and we sum up later. Okay, so at first the payment, so PV is the PV of present value of one plus present value of two. So, okay, so at first we think about present value of one so this is the geometric sequence. Geometric annuity, geometric progression annuity with, obviously I is equal to 25% because it's given. And what is K? So K is actually equal to one or 100%. Um, because the, okay, so this sequence that we have one, two, up to two to the power nine, but if you multiply by this sequence one, this becomes the two, two square and the two cube up to two to the 10th power. So that means that this is one plus K and this is one plus K square and this is one plus K cube. So that means that this is one plus K. Okay, so this is one plus K square. So that means K is equal to one. And finally, so if we multiply by two, that becomes I is equal to 25% and K is equal to one. So if we um, calculate, maybe maybe I will say that the present value of the two times I, two times I is equal to this. So maybe I will say that two times, two times present value of I. Okay, so then the, this is the 10 year annuity at J where the J is equal to I minus K over one plus K. And I is 25% in case one. So that means the negative 0 0.75 divided by one plus K and one plus K is here, the two. So actually this is the negative 0 0.375 or negative 37.5%. So it's a little bit strange because the usually the K is um, smaller than I um, in the previous example, but the here K is larger than I. So the J is a negative interest that it does not um, cause it does not cause any problem. And the J is this and the, um, yeah, we can also calculate the V. 
So V tilde, which corresponds to J, one over one plus J. So this is one over one minus 0 0.375. So this becomes actually the 1.6. And it's also strange. So usually V tilde is smaller than one, but here they're larger than one because the negative interest. Okay, so now that we can calculate the PV, I mean the A right angle 10 J. So this is equal to one minus the 1.6 to the 10th power um, divided by negative 37.5%, negative 0 0.375. So actually, the, this uh, quantity becomes uh, positive because this is negative over negative. And this is actually 290.54. Um, so now we can calculate PV. So PV is equal to the one half of this. So one half of 290.54. Plus the PV of number two. So number two, the present value of the cash flow number two is actually the 10 year discount of present value of this X. So X is the perpetuity um, immediate. So that means that this is equal to is yeah, so 145.27 plus the A. Okay, so two, two to the ninth power. So two to the ninth power times um, yeah, two to the ninth power times the A right angle infinity. So that we have the 10 years of discount. So 10 years of discount here. And the 145.27 times the 1.0, sorry, 1.25, 25% interest. So 1.25 to the negative 10th power um, times the A right angle infinity times 2 to the ninth power at 25%. So this is equal to 145.27 times 1.25 to the negative 10th power, two to the power nine and times um, one over 0 0.25. And in total, this becomes 365.17. Yeah. So this is the answer. So the first point is that the theorem still holds when i is less than k. So usually the k, the multiplier is one plus k. So k is larger than i. Basically the present value of each payment blows up. So uh, such, for example, the perpetuity, such perpetuity that does have the infinite the present value. So it's uh, unnatural. So usually the future payment should worth less at present. Otherwise, the summation does not converge. So most cases, in most cases, i is uh, larger than k, um, but the, even i is smaller than k, there's still the theorem holds. But the v, I mean the v tilde, v tilde becomes larger than one and the j becomes smaller than one, zero. So it looks a little strange. And the, um, the second point is that we divided the um, cash flow into two parts. The one is the geometric um, progression and the other is the usual, the perpetuity immediate. 